In this video, I'm going to share with you guys how to make a one-piece dress. It's kind of complicated, so we'll start with the things you need. Firstly, you need your fabric, a zip that is long enough, measuring tape, thread, scissors, fabric chalk, and probably a sewing machine. Next step, we measure. So these are minimally the measurements you will need for a dress. Now I'm just showing you roughly how you should measure your own measurements. For your upper torso, you should measure from the tip of your shoulder to your navel button. And for your length of dress, measure from the shoulder to the middle point at the lower end. For your upper bust length, just measure above your breast. It should be the middle line between your shoulders and nipple. So, the measurements aside, we'll move over to the third step. Draft. Get your fabric, fold it in half with the right side facing in. And so this is roughly how your draft will look like. This blue diamond here, is what we call a dart. It is to help the dress adhere to the natural body shape better. The width of a drop of a dart, sorry, is usually from one inch to a maximum of 1.5 inch. The green line is one fourth of your waist length plus the length you allocate for each dart. This yellow line is where your upper bust measurements will come in, and the distance for your collar hole should minimally be three inch any lesser and you'll feel like you're being strangled. Let's cut! So remember to always leave extra space at the edge so that you can sew your drafting together. So this is the drafting for the back of the dress. And as you can tell, it's slightly different from the front. Firstly, the collar at the back is higher because, well, our neck is not at the back. Kind of. and. The darts at the back are higher on top and slightly shorter below. So it's higher on top because we don't have our boobs in on our back and we have our butt at the bottom. So there is a gap of allowance here. This allowance is to allow you to sew the zip on. Make sure you leave at least one inch or half an inch of gap for you to sew the zip on. So keep cut them up and then we'll cut through it to make it into two different pieces like this. Now sew them together. Assemble them together, flip the front piece of the fabric over, good side facing you, flip the two back pieces over, good side facing away. And then we stack them together like this and then sew them with a sewing machine. We start with the shoulders and then we sew the sides. And so and so and so. After you're done, flip the costume inside out. Then hem the bottom edges. There are many ways to do it, but the easiest way is to interlock the edge and then fold the hems down. Give it half an inch to one inch maximum. So I've scotch taped the edges down to simulate hemming them. Next, I deal with the four dots. I'll fold them vertically in half, like this, and then sew along the blue line. So it will kind of be like in a triangular shape. So in an actual dress, we will have four dots. I'm sorry I didn't draw them onto the draft here, so please don't get confused by this draft. Now that I've sewed all the four dots, it's time to flip the costume inside out and try the costume on. So check out how the dots have helped define the waist and the upper torso. So there is still some allowance on the sleeve and we're going to take care of that. The easiest way is to just interlock the edge, 
fold it in and then sew it down with a stitch. As you can see here, um, I'm having a bit of trouble folding it over because of the curve and because of how small this example is. In real life, you will kind of have the same problem because of the curve. And the only way to counter that is to make sure the allowance is not too wide. Just give it roughly around half an inch. So now we are almost done with our dress. The fifth step is to sew the zip. So this is my miniature zip. And this is how your zip should roughly be placed on the dress. We we'll flip them over. Leave a bit of gap on top that will be the hem for your collar. And then we we'll sew along the red dotted line. Kind of like this. So we attach it to the side and sew it down. This is how it looks like with one side of the zip sewed on. So we'll flip the zip over and attempt to sew the other side. So usually it's easier when you flip your costume inside out and try to sew the other side. Um, I'm sorry, I can't really show you the whole process of doing it because it's really really complicated. So I really advise you to google and find out how you can sew a zip on. So now we're done with the zip, this is how the inner part looks like. All we have to do now is to take care of this little gap here. We fold it in half like this and then we sew both the fabric down along this line. So I made a blue dash line. This is where you'll be sewing and make sure you overlap the bottom half of the zip a little bit. Otherwise you will get a little hole in your dress. So you flip your costume inside out again and now we'll do the coloring. Like this default, we'll just interlock the edge, fold it over and sew it down. And then we are done. This is the front, this is the back. So it's time to try the costume on and see how it fits you. With the help of scotch tape, I've managed to zip the dress up. And so this is how you make a one-piece dress. It's a really useful pattern because so many types of clothes and costume can be made from it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe, like and leave a comment. Also check out my blog for more tutorial and anime, manga and games related stuff. Bye!